It's a story that has shocked the nation. Philip Markov, a pre-med student charged with the murder of a woman he found on Craigslist. Richard Schlesinger of 48 Hours has this Sunday Journal. The world knows Philip Markov only by his headline nickname, an alliterative allegation, the Craigslist killer. I thought he was very nice. But to Morgan Houston, he is more than a suspect or a defendant. To her, he was a classmate, a friend, someone she knows or thought she knew. He was dorky, but so many of us are. I mean, I can be a big dork too, so you can't hold that against him. When they were at the State University of New York together, Morgan saw Markov often. He was very intelligent. He was definitely lacking probably some social skills. It didn't seem like he was always 100% comfortable in his own skin. Morgan and Markov were friends, but that was it. And then one night when they went drinking with a group of friends, Morgan says he saw her to her dorm. Going up into the tower where I lived, he cornered me in the corner and kind of trapped me and pushed me up against the wall and was trying to kiss me. And I, would, I was turning my head to the side so he couldn't and I was trying to say, no, Phil, you know, we're just friends. What are you trying to do? And thankfully, one of my very close friends who knew him also had come along shortly, very shortly after that, and he was able to pull him off of me and I was able to escape upstairs. And were you scared? Yeah, of course, I've, I had no control. It's frightening. He wasn't listening to me when I was saying no. Did he apologize? No, I'm not sure. He never mentioned it. So I'm not sure he even remembered. And I just, it was awkward. I just wanted to forget about it. It wasn't the Phil I knew. The Phil I knew was a nice, easygoing, a little bit awkward, but a nice, easygoing guy. I chalked it up to the alcohol. They remained friends, but she looks back at that incident after Markov's arrest and wonders. If all of this turns out that it is proven true, then I should have been a lot more frightened than I was. When I turned around and looked at him, that's when he pulled out the gun. Trisha Leffler says she has no doubt about what Markov is like. My heart started beating real fast. She's one of the women Markov is accused of attacking after finding her on Craigslist. He told me to put my hands behind my back which I did, and then he tied me up one hand at a time. And then he asked me where my money was. His demeanor was actually pretty calm, like he had, he had done it before. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Jennifer Hicks. If Markov is guilty, what drove him? Forensic psychiatrist Michael Wellner. Crime sprees reflect a sudden change in a person from a significant event going on in their lives where they become unhinged and make a lot of bad choices that can be destructive. Whatever stressor it was, that has yet to be uncovered. Prosecutors are investigating whether a gambling problem led Markov to murder, and he was arrested while on his way with his fiance to a casino. But at least from the outside, Markov was living a normal life. He was raised here in Sherrill, New York, a rural community in the middle of New York State. Our high school graduating class, to give you a sense, was about 150. Uh, so it was sort of a small area, uh, almost to the extent of everybody knows everybody. Andrew Hookway lived down the street from Markov, has known him since elementary school, considers him a friend. Sometimes there's people who stick out as being uh, very uh, bully-like. Sometimes there's people who stick out as being very introverted, very nerdy. He was neither of those extremes. He was completely average. It's become almost a cliche in crime reporting that murder suspects just don't come from towns like this. Cheryl is a small town, close-knit, and in this case, closed up to outsiders, inquiring about its most notable native son. A lot of neighbors didn't want to talk about Markov, but he left a mark here. His high school yearbook, Class of 04, shows snapshots of a successful life. He was a member of the National Honor Society, a golfer, and seemed proud of his poker playing skills. These pictures are hard to square with these pictures. 
it's very hard to uh, you know believe in him with all the evidence that's come out. But I do believe in him. We're still waiting on uh, you know the defense uh, to make its move. Uh, you know, uh, sitting back right now and waiting and seeing how things are going to play out, and that's the stance that I'm taking. While other friends and family say they also believe in him, there were reports late yesterday afternoon that Markov's wedding, planned for this August, has been postponed. Other published reports say Markov might be preparing his supporters for the worst, that he told family visitors on Friday there might be more damning evidence, and had this advice. Forget about me.